so today is like my second day of like real um training in therapy the i've been doing it for probably about two weeks now and um the first couple of sessions were a lot of observation and talking so um this tuesday and then today were my first days actually really getting into doing some things so today instead of standing because i have a standing frame at home that i can also stand in so um monday was primarily um making sure that i put the electrical stimulators in the correct places and that i'm aware of whether or not i'm standing up straight so um now that that has been done we have moved on to something else to keep it interesting so that i'm not doing the same thing every day so today we focused on strengthening my core now uh most people when they think about spinal cord injuries and they, and they think about you know, or when I say that I'm paralyzed they feel like oh, okay you're partially paralyzed oh you're paralyzed waist down um, oh, or oh you're a paraplegic well I am not a paraplegic I am a quadriplegic which means that in my case almost three-fourths of my body is paralyzed due to the spinal cord injury. However, my spinal cord injury is incomplete. Um, so there are some things that I can do uh, more than others that are in my same predicament that have the same um, injury level that I do. However, it is still uh, paralysis. So with that being said, um, my core is not as strong so um it's a very difficult balancing act when trying to sit up straight and trying to sit up alone and things like that so in order for me to master these willies which i will because i refuse to be defeated um I'm going to have to strengthen strengthen my core and just strengthen strengthen my muscles in general. So we started with uh, core strengthening today, which was very frustrating and difficult. And being the competitive person that I am, I refuse to be defeated by my own self or by the. Uh, by the paralysis like I just refuse I am not going to allow this crap to get the best of me so I found myself getting so frustrated in this session because things that are that used to be so easy before I was injured are very things like sitting up straight and lifting both of my hands in the air at one time if you think about it you just do it so easily um, but now with the injury doing that is difficult for me or um, even sitting in sitting up straight and placing both of my hands on my knees and just lifting both of my hands up simultaneously, just maybe like an inch above my knees, is difficult because it's all about that core and having control over it, which is something that I don't have complete control over anymore. What we have come to the conclusion of is that although injury is there I do have some control over it 
So some control for me is not good enough. I'm like, uh, I defeat these sort of things. Okay? Like, the doctors have told me over and over and over and over and over and over what I can't do, what I'm not supposed to be able to do, blah, 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 according to the textbooks. I don't care what the textbooks say. Like, my faith is strong. My determination is crazy. And I refuse to be defeated. Like, period. So... That's a blessing and a curse because in situations like today, I find myself getting entirely too frustrated. So luckily, all of the therapists and physical, um, physical therapists and personal trainers that I have worked with have picked up on that competitive spirit within me and they use it to our advantage and we set goals um, currently because I've been sitting in the chair for so many years my body is kind of shifting to one uh, side something that I hadn't even noticed before um, but within like the last two months um, continuously seeing doctors over at tier um, which is a spinal cord uh, or which is a rehabilitation hospital um, one of the best hospital, uh, rehabilitation hospitals in the nation so um, I've been going there consistently for the last two months after not going there for years, probably like 10 years or more. And um, so a lot of things have been brought to my attention, like the fact that I am, my body is shifting to one side from sitting in a chair for so long. And uh, ain't nobody got time for that. I don't want to be sitting to one side I want to be sitting straight up like everybody else like what so, I found myself she my therapist put a mirror in front of me as I did these core exercises because at first she was like okay I'm gonna mirror your body and I said okay and she said, this is what you're doing with your body. And I said, I don't like when y'all mirror me and y'all tell me that that's what I'm doing. And she was like, <laughs> and she said, oh my God, I don't mean to offend you. And I'm like, no. I said, okay, maybe I said that the wrong way. I said, what I don't like is the fact that my body is shifting to one side. So when you get, when you guys mirror me, you're showing me what I don't like. And I don't know how to fix that. So I need to know what it is I need to do to fix that because I don't want to sit like that. And I'm just not sure why it is that's the case. So she kind of explained to me, you know, sitting down a long time it's something that typically happens in these cases I kick these cases ass like I, I don't care nothing about that like all the statistics and all of that crap like psh, whatever <laughs> like ain't nobody got time for that like I my mentality is I will be the exception to the rule. That's, that's just the way that I think. Like, I can't think no other way. It's, I don't know. I, I can't think any other way. 
So my thing is, show me what I need to do to fix that. So she's like, okay, I like that. So this is what you can do to fix it. She showed me some different exercises. And I said, if we have 10 weeks together, one of my goals will be to get to the point where I can control my, my core better so that I can determine when my body is shifting and I can correct my posture. That is my goal. And she said, okay, I support you in your goal and I'm gonna do everything that I need to do to get you to that point. And she spoke about wheelchair basketball. Anybody that knows me knows that I don't really care about sports. I'm competitive. I don't have I don't really care too much about sports. Um especially to watch them. Now if I'm playing it, then that brings out the competitive part of me. And so long as I know the rules to the game, I think I, you know, can do uh, the game some justice, I guess you could say. So, uh, since they, since I've started going there and speaking and um, doing therapy with this particular therapist, she's been talking about wheelchair basketball because she can see that I have a lot of strength in my upper body and she actually used to uh, play wheelchair basketball in college because a friend of hers, uh, wheelchair bound and he played basketball and that was one of her ways to play with him was to actually play wheelchair basketball so she um there are with wheelchair basketball teams um or adaptive sport teams and specifically an adaptive uh basketball team here in houston and so she has already gotten the therapist that she knows at Tier to talk to me about coming out for practice. And she talked to me today about how playing this game can help strengthen my core. So you know what that means, right? That means that I just might be playing some wheelchair basketball for the sake of strengthening my core because again I refuse to be sitting all lopsided nobody wants to do that <laughs> what I just refuse so if I had to go and play some wheelchair basketball to straighten up my posture and to strengthen my core so that I can pop these willies over these curves and you know pop a willie and spin around at the same time then that's what I'm gonna do at this point I'm like by any means necessary like I gotta defeat all of these odds so that was my day idea what's in store for me on next Tuesday. Uh, we did speak about a vendor coming out and looking at the braces that I have to that I currently have to walk in. Um, the issue with those braces that we might um, come across is the fact that they were fitted to my body like maybe 10 years or more ago so this will not be my first time walking in braces um, it's just kind of like uh, reintroducing it after you know technology has changed and all of that so um, the, st the frame that I have was again customized to my body 10 years ago I was very small So we 
have to see whether or not I'll be able to fit into this frame. If I am, then I should be able to walk in those. If not, I will have to have another frame um, made for my body now. So, that might be what we do Tuesday. Um, but, however, that's in the works. Um, she's already put it in the works for somebody to come out and for us to look at the frame and for me to get in it and see all of that jazz. And hopefully, um, I will have someone there to record that for me so you guys can see. I tried to record myself today on this, uh, bike. I was on a bike to strengthen my um, upper body. Um, and basically, I was in my chair. It's, it's um, because I don't move my legs. I'm, I'm using a bike, but I'm using my arms. So, I'm not literally in a actual bike. I'm sitting in a chair, and I'm actually in my chair. And I'm doing the uh, pushing it with my arms. So I, I tried to get a video of it. It's not the best video. I'll go ahead and post it anyway, just so you guys can get a little bit of a glimpse. And hopefully you'll be able to get what it is that I'm doing. Because the video is awkward. But um, nonetheless, you should be able to get somewhat of an idea. Um, but yeah, this is my update on where I am in my physical therapy journey. I will keep you guys posted.